Joan here now with the 2017 SIAC Men's Basketball Tournament Champions. Um, guys, congratulations. Before we start, Coach, just start with an opening statement. 64-62 win over Fort Valley State tonight. Uh, what a thrilling basketball game for a championship game. Uh, we never gave up, kept competing. Two people I wanted to choke a little bit tonight. He made a big shot. He made a big shot. And uh, I'm glad he didn't let me, let me affect him, his concentration, because that was a heck of a shot to put us on this stage right here. It really was. Chief, we talk about that last play. Um, you got the pass. Um, what was going through your mind with the ball left in your hands? Uh, just to make it. I mean, AJ threw a good pass. Coach drew it up. I mean, shot the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, talk about your performance tonight. 16 points, and I remember media day, um, me and you have a conversation, and you told me what you wanted from the season. Um, and you're here, so how does that feel for you? Looking back, months ago you were in the same arena, now you have a championship trophy. How does that feel? Well, it feels great. Couldn't be around my teammates, and I couldn't be without people doubting us. So, without, with us being doubted, it made us come out the way we came out today, victorious. Lawrence, your team has been fighters pretty much all season. Um, talk about your performance and going down the stretch and just your team never quitting up and just going toe to toe with Fort Valley all the way. Um, I, I can't, I can't, I can't put it in words. Like we never quit. You know, it don't matter if we play one minute or forty minutes. I believe in everybody on this team. Um, Chuck hit a big shot. I don't know if Chuck hit a whole shot all game, but I told him before he shot it this morning. You know, that's the type of faith we have in one another. And I, I, I think we're ready for the next step. I think we're ready to take our time nationally and win this national championship now. Coach, just again, touch on this year for you. First year, and you win the championship. What, is, what has this been like for you and your players? Well, it's, it's, it's been great, but it's not about me. I've had a lot of my time in the summer. It's about my guys. and. Uh, they were real jubilant today because they, they, they've been pushed, they've been prodded. And I can't say that some other things have been done to them, but they accepted it. <laughs> the biggest thing though, because guys, sometimes guys don't want to buy in, and they, they bought in to what I was teaching them with my philosophy, and, and it paid off tonight. It really did. Coach, if you could describe this team in one word, what would it be and why? Oh man, just really tough. Uh, I'm sure my little fear was a bad to the fire by not one of my guys being named on all cards. Team. I mean, I thought that was uh, unbelievable, a little bit disrespectful to my guys. How can you tie for first place and have nobody, not one guy, you know, make the all-conference team? But I guess all the all-conference guys went home and we're sitting up here as champions. That's all that counts. Yeah, man. Chuck, um, there's questions for all teams uh, that are there sitting at the mic. Um, did you guys prepare any differently for this game, knowing that it could potentially be your last? We had a vision each and every day. We 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 sat down, we talked to each other. We said, Tyler said, we're not gonna look at this. Let's win three games. We're gonna look at it. Let's not gonna know. Let's keep the door down. I and mean, whoever in the way, let's keep the door down again. And let's get through and get through. And we just wanted to show people like who the real coach of the year was. That's what that was our motivation. It's not that, but that's great that my guys say that. Like I said, that I mean this from my heart. I've had my day in the sun. I've won a world championship. I mean, I've been a coach at the highest level. It was about my guys, and I'm, I'm happy for them. What I've just done, they can, they can keep coaching here. I mean, it's sincerely. It's not about that. I think Ricky Jackson did an unbelievable job in class. We have a pretty, pretty, pretty darn good basketball team that we had to beat to get where we are right now. So uh, it's more about my guys than me. I'm happy what happened tonight. We won a championship. Oh, it's, it's big. The university's been down, especially the, the basketball side. And for us to, uh, to win 21 games and to win an SIC championship and hopefully get an NCAA Division II tournament, bid, hopefully I'll be getting an email or phone call Monday because our season's not over yet. Yeah, right. Your shirt's saying one and done. You're one and done in the SIC. Just kind of touch it on moving forward and competing nationally. We're going to go back and, and uh, take a day off and get back in the gym. And, Back on the line and run and do what we do every day. We're going to do what we do until we, until we, until we play Friday or Saturday. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be prepared for the team that we play. Any additional questions? I got one. Coach, uh, as far as that tournament and, and you know, the way they tend to see the SIAC teams, 
Do you think an eight seed is where you belong? Do you think you should be higher? What, what do you think? As a at, at this point, we're just really happy to 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 be playing in the tournament. It's been a long time since uh, CAU has been in a basketball tournament. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to compete against somebody. And it, you know, I hope it's a good team that we can go up against. Florence, I see what you're wearing on your left hand right now. Is it about time to retire that one? Oh yeah, this this one in the box. This one back in the box. Um, I wanted to the rest of the rest of the game, really play that much. But uh, you know, this one is to be a senior, win with these guys and some of these dudes just joke around with me all the time, talking about I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be gone. <laughs> they got their own now, so <laughs> I'm just man, I'm I'm just glad that, you know, we're in a position right now where we're leaving all legacy. And Coach Jordan, if you could speak up real quick. You've been here for a decade. You, you've, you were here the last time we won in 2011. You were on the coaching staff. You played for this program. What's this mean to you as, as a former player, as an alum, to be part of the rebuilding of this program and the building block of a new era of Clark Atlanta basketball? I mean, it feels good to have us back when we belong. You know, it's been a long time coming. It's been since 2011. And, you know, it's been a storm. We weathered the storm, and this guy right here that I'm holding on to, he's the only guy that's actually been a part of the program for four years. And for him to have gone from a winning season his first year and his last two seasons, winning seven games and then winning nine games, to as a senior winning the championship, scoring a thousand points, Mr. the Sports Center. And it's, it's beautiful, you know, just like Coach said, you know, I, I had my day, you know, in my career, so I'm still young in it, but this group of guys is like no other. I mean, the way they fight together as a team, they, I'll go to war with them any day against anyone. And Harper, if you can grab the mic, uh, Coach said you're, you're the lone four-year guy. You had seven wins and nine wins the last two years. T did you ever imagine 21 your senior year and an SIC title? Did you ever imagine this day? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it still hasn't sunk in yet, but these last two years have been rough, but we all bought into what Coach thought could do to win, and we got it done, so I'm just happy. Um, just living in the moment right now. And Tim, the emotions when they said you were the tournament MVP. You, you, you pretty much collapsed on the court, you know, with with raw emotion. What was going through your head when they announced your name? You shot enough. <laughs> <laughs> this has been like the only time we'll see Tim Sanders speechless. We should have had 10 different trophies, honestly, for everybody, because without each of them, I wouldn't be here. None of us would be here. It wouldn't be, I wouldn't be the MVP. So, I mean, just all the hard work, the early morning workouts, from coach getting on us, being at the wrong, <laughs> coming in late sometimes, it all paid off today. So, when they said my name, I just felt like, shoot, I wish we could make a copy and make 10 more MVP trophies to get it here. But, Thank you. I appreciate it. And on the mission. What's up, Commissioner? Oh, Walter. Hey, Coach, I got one question for you. Uh, hey, I got Coach Jordan. Could you speak to, uh, you know, in college sports, a lot been made of diversity, diversity and inclusion and giving folks opportunities. Could you speak to the importance of Clark giving you a chance? Oh, I, I thank Dr. Johnson and Liam Dawson uh, afterwards on, on the court. And uh, I thank them so much for giving me the opportunity. Had a lot of interviews with a lot of other schools that told my resume was great, but you never coached in college. And I, I never understood that. No, I never coached in college. I was coached at the highest level you can go. So you tell me I can't coach in college. So this opportunity came. I grabbed it. I ran with it. And I'm, I'm sitting here. This is the best thing that could happen to me. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right.